I'm Galen Moon Holgate, and I'm the jungler for Team Liquid. I was born and raised in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Never really left the state too much, except for like the occasional vacation. Uh, really just happy there with my family. So starting like middle school, I started getting really bad headaches. So after freshman year of high school, I did homeschool and online schooling. So that's why I had so much time to like play the game and watch the game. Basically for online school, you can like work ahead um, really fast. So you can do like a week's worth of work in a day. I would basically just wake up, play league, watch streams, do whatever I wanted to. When I sat down and was like, okay, I want to try to go pro, I had a lot of free time on my hands to just grind out the, the game all day. I basically started uh, grinding late season four and I got two accounts in like decently high challenger and people, I guess some challenger people were like, oh, I don't know who this guy is. Like he's, he's playing like decently well. So I got a message from uh, Bon Quiche, who was just like an old, an older player. Uh, he's now an analyst for energy. And he asked me like, hey, do you want to try out for Frank Van Gaming? Or at, at the time, I think it was called Brawl. And I remember going to the wiki and like seeing uh, Alex each is the mid laner at the time. And I was like, oh shit, like <laughs> maybe I shouldn't try out. Like what is he gonna think about me? Like this guy's a god. Tried out for them. I guess they liked me for whatever reason. Golden Glue was on that team. Uh, it was my first ever team. And then from there, I basically like transitioned slowly. So I went from a non-NACS team to an NACS team to an LCS team, uh, each split. So I was on Team Energy last split, and my time there was pretty good. I definitely enjoyed and learned a ton. Uh, I'm like 10 times the player now than I was when I first joined. And I think people like can kind of see that uh, through my play throughout the split. At the beginning of the split, I definitely was not, not a good jungler, but I think towards the end of the split, I definitely picked it up. Overall, my experience on Energy was pretty good. Uh, I definitely love all of my teammates. I still talk to them all. Um, the only problem I had was with management, but the way criticism was directed to, towards me, like definitely hurt my confidence. And that's not like their fault. Like it, it definitely gets frustrating, but, but from that, I, I feel like I've learned like how to give people criticism. So it's not frustrating since I had to deal with that. After I got benched off energy, um, I heard about a few days before the announcement and I was basically just exploring all my options. And I basically was just waiting to see which, which best suited me, like writing down the pros and cons and stuff like that. And Team Liquid just seemed like by far the best option because everyone in, in the team seems really motivated and uh, the organization is just like amazing, which I mainly didn't want to deal with like any big management problems uh, after energy. The main roster is like really good. When I was on RNG and I was playing against them, it's like, oh, like, shit, we have to go against Piglet. <laughs> oh no, like, and it, 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 when we played them in playoffs, like, I think it showed, like, the, the roster is really good. I won't have that much time with the new roster uh, and playing with the main team. For the first few weeks of LCS, it'll mainly just be us, us gelling, um, me, like, figuring out the play style, figuring out how to communicate with everybody. Uh, but I definitely expect us to be a really strong team going into the split. For the main roster, I really just want to make worlds um, and I know everyone has this the same goal everyone just wants worlds